Well, I'm at the Venetian, I'm on day two of CES 2022, and I'm at the European Pavilion, and I'm here with Roman Bisco, who's the CEO and co-founder of a company called Meridot, and you can see it in the background, it's got a wireless charging station, but Roman, what makes this technology so compelling for the 21st century? Hi all, I'm Roman from Meridot, and uh, we are developing a uh, first in the world wireless charging station for micromobility transport. And actually not for micromobility, but for mobility, like electric vehicles. But we are starting from the micromobility because there are now a lot on the streets. And we want to help cities to solve the house on the streets. Yeah. So uh, here you can see a charging station mm -hmm. uh, that uh, with our technology inside. And we charging scooters without no, no wires. Yeah. It's supporting different types of the scooters. We, we can I, see it over there as well. The, the, uh, it's just a platform. Yeah. And that can go underground yes. or it's, above it's, ground? It could be totally uh, placed under the ground yeah. or under the asphalt. So uh, the rider he will not figure out and uh, it's, it will provide to him seamless uh, charging experience. Yeah. When he is, uh, uh, finish his driving, he parked the scooter on the charging surface. Yeah. And uh, that's all. It's uh, and, and start automatically charging. It can go in any position. Doesn't matter yeah. whether, even if it's lying down. Yes. Yeah. Because one of the problems that we've seen with scooters is they get abandoned. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the people chuck them in the in the river, and then they're not ready. Yes, they, they're, they're flat. You know. Yep. And so then people have to drive around to charge them. Mm -hmm. I mean, how crazy to have a wire, a battery-powered system that then requires cars running with gas to collect them, to take yep. it back to charge. Yes. I mean, it's kind of yes. the first, the, like, the revolution of the scooters fizzled out because they, they didn't have your technology, right? Yeah, you know, many companies uh, to, told that uh, they're supporting like Green Revolution mm. by uh, providing electric scooters, but it could not be still green while using electric uh, cars to collect the, all, all of them, bring to your office, recharge, and then uh, yeah. return to the streets. Yeah, and so with, yeah, with our solution, uh, we totally delayed this uh, like outdated experience, mm. and uh, there is no need to connect the cable, uh, which is very important for the rider because they don't want to come to the station and uh, find what the cable they should connect because it's different types, different yeah. voltage, and its cable could be dirty or uh, it could be vandalized. It, yes, could, it, could, it could fry your battery. Yes, we saw like in Israeli there is many station was vandalized and cable was just cut. It. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, for example, in Sri Lanka, there was a case that in two months the cables was uh, electrical contact oxidated, so the station out of work. And uh, every two months, the uh, technical person should should come to, to the station and clean the contacts. And uh, like our station, freeze your. Yeah. Well, you just you just put it on there. I mean, like I would just have a look. It doesn't matter, as you said, which angle it can it can be, as long as it's. As long as it's on the, the platform, it's charging. Yes. And uh, what about the different types of scooters? Uh -huh. yeah, How do you retrofit a scooter to be wireless charger compatible? Yeah, it's a good question. And uh, uh, we are supporting uh, almost all, all the type of electric scooters. Uh, you know that uh, they have uh, the main parameter is uh, different clearance mm -hmm. between the scooter and uh, the ground. Mm -hmm. So our technology is capable to charge uh, wirelessly over 30 centimeter distance. So we it are covers totally, everybody. Yes. So we totally okay with this and uh, like. Uh, and is it easy to retrofit uh, an existing scooter to be wireless compatible? Yes, uh, we want, uh, like we are starting for retrofitting the scooters because there are a lot of the streets already and we want to re-update them and uh, that they will be supporting uh, wireless charging. So we are providing uh, scooter operators or uh, simple uh, like uh, riders users uh, with a receiver that they could be easily mounted un under the scooter. Uh, like there is only like uh, six crew should yeah. be. And how much would such a receiver, on average, cost? Uh, good question. Uh, I mean, presumably, like, a fleet operator will get a discount for buying a lot of them. Yeah. But an individual. But for individual, it's around uh, 50 euro. Right. So it's not. So it's pretty inexpensive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we're now presumably going to see scooters coming with wireless technology built in a standard, yes. just like we have with phones. Yes. 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 Yeah. You know, there was like situation with mobile phones where once uh, just. Uh, 
you had to plug in an adapter yes, to get the plug into an yeah. adapter to try the technology but That's after it. some times one two years the manufacturer the starts yes yeah. uh, integrate them directly so how long will inside. it be before every scooter is wireless do you think two or three years as well uh, sorry how long will it be do you think before every scooter uh -huh. is wireless out of the box uh, we hope uh, it will be, it's no it will be not so long journey so yeah. maybe two years yeah three and years what does it cost for somebody like on average it's different depending on the size of the installation but you know if I'm an operator mm -hmm. and I want to I want one test station what would that cost uh, roughly speaking no oh, if you want uh, just for test yeah uh, the one station will uh, like cost for you around uh, like 60 like uh, 600, 600 euro sure and uh, like what if somebody wants to put Meridot throughout an entire city I mean that's what you want you want to see it everywhere yeah yeah, so this is already different, uh, yeah. different business. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that, but, but do you have people already approaching you to do that? Uh, we have already start installation in Italy and Israeli, whereas like you could try by yourself this uh, experience of wireless charging. Yeah. And uh, we are now our like goal in uh, by the end of 2022 is to install a station in uh, Latvia, Amsterdam. And uh, we hope, like in in Paris, the the most uh, uh, countries where is uh, this scooters now? Sure, sure. And I mean, I've, I've used scooters in California. I've used them in Sydney, Australia. Yes, yes. When are you going to bring it to America or Australia? Uh, we already like we are now in CS, and uh, we want to bring this technology to the America. So uh, I hope we will now find the partners, and we already in contact with some of them. And like CS, it was really interesting for us. Mm -hmm. So we've found contact, and I hope we'll install yeah. this year at least a few stations. Yeah, because like, I mean everything's going wireless. I've spoken to companies that are promising wireless charging of your phone at a distance, right? Mm -hmm. Now there's been problems. I, I, I first interviewed somebody about this in 2016. Mm -hmm. So here we are in 2022, and you, it doesn't exist yet. But it's clearly this is the decade where we're going to see a mm -hmm. lot more wireless charging wireless power yeah, and but uh, uh, you know in comparison with them our product already commercial already and yeah. you can, can order it from or, uh, yeah. just now so what's your website uh, www.mirado.com m e r e d o t and you can see it at, at the back there and uh, yeah very cool well look I'm th and look what was the inspiration for creating this I mean why did you decide to create this okay. <laughs> what's the story tell it's, us it's, uh, it's a good question and uh, like uh, two years ago uh, like uh, previously in the past I was working in a small home automation company mm -hmm. and uh, we automated uh, already everything in the room in the house so mm -hmm. you could turn off uh, lights by voice uh, 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 like control the temperature but uh, I was uh, like uh, seeing what everything could could be automated and i was uh, figure out that there was a power outlet you mm -hmm. know it was like invented 150 years ago yes yeah, it's, it's i mean still, it hasn't changed yes it's nothing changed yeah so uh, first our product of miradot it was actually the power outlet they do not have electrical contacts yeah uh, and we like uh, show this product two years ago and uh, with this product, we go to incubation uh, program in Israeli, must challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the end of this program, uh, we came up with another product already. So we enter with power outlet, but by the end, we uh, figure out that uh, there is another bigger market. It's mm -hmm. uh, micro mobility. So we take our technology and uh, just like put to another uh, box. So. Yeah. So, I mean, are, are you still working on uh, power uh, outlets as well? Or? It is a uh, uh, product, all, uh, like, finish it for power outlet and uh, you also could uh, order it. But, but it now was not in our priority. Sure, sure. Because, I mean, it would be great to be able to have a fridge, washing machine, consumer appliances in the home that just, you know, next to a wireless power system like this and yes. bang you know yes. no batteries required and yeah, nothing and, to plug in yeah you know it's like it was all also like totally integrated in the wall yeah. so the, the wall was fl like totally flat yeah and you even could not realize that there is some power unit yeah, yeah 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 well look as I said this is the decade where we're going to see a lot of these things that were just once science fiction becoming science fact and mm -hmm. here's another great example of that so congratulations I hope to see this rolled out globally soon.
Um, thank you very much for taking the time. Mm -hmm. Thank you.